How's it going? What's your name? Amanda LaBeouf. Amanda, where are you from originally? Uh, South Louisiana, Crowley, Louisiana. Really? How'd you get out to Portland? Uh, me and my husband came here to um, open up a food cart, um, a Cajun food cart, and COVID hit. Oh yeah? And it ruined everything. And then he died about a year and a half ago. He died? Mm -hmm. How'd here he on die? the street. He had a cardiac arrest on the street. You did? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear about that. Did you guys have kids or anything? No, we didn't. He did. He had two little girls. Oh, he did? Yeah. Back home and they came up here, got them down and flew them back down south and had, cool. a, had a little yeah. ceremony. How old were his girls? Um, one was 17 and one was 15. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, yeah it was pretty good. So, uh, you grew up with uh, both parents? Um, well, I had both parents, yeah, but um, like they were divorced. But I went to go see my dad, and my mom had primary custody, cust uh, custody of me, and my stepdad pretty much raised me also. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when did they get a divorce? Um, when I was seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did yeah. you graduate high school? Yeah, I graduated high school and I went to college, and I also went to trade school for massage therapy. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. oh, that's cool. Yeah. What did you do after uh, college? Um, I was working for my stepdad's company. I worked there for like several, several years, like probably like seven years I worked there. What, what kind of work is that? Um, he installs multi-line phone systems for um, businesses like doctor's offices and oh, lawyer's cool. offices. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. so, <laughs> yeah. What did you do after that? Um, well, like... I did that while I was in college, but like I had other jobs. I didn't go directly to college after high school because I got my GED. I didn't like have a, uh, I didn't graduate high school. I got my GED um, and then I had like, I lifeguarded and worked in a restaurant and primarily worked in restaurants though. And then after my dad's company, I went back to the restaurant business. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. What happened in high school? Hey, you didn't. How long did you go to? Um, I went there until I was like my second um, semester of my junior year. Then um, I just thought that I could do it on my own, so I left home. And, oh, you left home? Yeah, yeah. Where'd you head out to? Um, I were I was um, working in a restaurant, and I worked with some older people, and I just went and lived with them for a while. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you currently homeless right now? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, um, we live in a tiny home. Oh, a tiny home? Yeah. Um, we're working on our housing voucher. I should be getting my housing voucher like any day now. The tiny home from the city? Before? No, no. Um, actually, um, we live over there by Overlook Park um, off of Interstate, and mm -hmm. ours are individually like um, built by people and like from donated materials and stuff, so they don't look like the same or anything. And ours is a really small community. Do you gotta pay rent? Mm -mm, no, oh, ours yeah. is free. Free, free electricity, mm -hmm. free everything? Well, we run off solar p panels, we don't yeah. have electricity. How do you get into something like that? You got to apply or? Um, I don't really know how other people did it, but I was working for a lady and my husband died and she didn't want me on the street by myself after my husband died. So I got in there pretty quickly. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you're yeah. going to transition after you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just any day now I should be getting my housing voucher. Oh, the housing? Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So I'll be getting permanent housing. Where did you get that from? The... Um, I'm in the set program. Squeaks. I'm in the SEP program, um, so it's just like um, people that are like need like a safe environment or whatever, and they don't require you to be clean or um, you know have a job or anything. Like they just want you to be in a safe environment. Yeah. So I just have to meet with my social worker once a week for like 30 minutes. Yeah. Are you, are you addicted to anything out here? Yeah. Are? Yeah. What are you struggling with? Uh, meth and fentanyl. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you plan to get any, uh, do you plan to get clean from that or? Yeah, like once I get into permanent housing, oh, yeah. yeah. It's really hard out here though, like, oh, yeah. yeah, it's just better to not do that out here. <laughs> yeah, so. So do you have any, uh, any life regrets? Um, yeah, I have some. Maybe you give me one or? Um, I wish I didn't argue with my husband before he died. What's that? I wish I didn't argue with my husband before he died. Yeah. That's probably my biggest regret. Do you have any plans for or any goals for the future? Um, I'm just looking to get into permanent housing and um, I'm still going to open up a food car for my husband. Oh, that's cool. What, 
What kind of food car? Um, it's gonna be Cajun food. Cajun? Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Do you have any, uh, like an Instagram or Cash App or anything that maybe someone watching this could help with that project? Um, I do have a Cash App, but I don't have a phone right now, so I don't know the hashtag for it. Oh, you don't? Um, no. Um, but, um, do you have any, uh, like I have a, Instagram or something? Um, I don't have a phone, so, but I have a, an address. Um, it's 12053 P.O. Box 1, or, yeah, 12053 P.O. Box, Portland, Oregon, 97212. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, do you, do you have any, any, any advice or any quotes that you want to give anybody? Um, just stay safe out there and just, like, treat us like people, because we are. Uh -huh. All right, thank you so much.